Chapter 1, The Magic Forest Chapter 1, The Magic Forest in a Faraway Land There was a magical forest filled with all kinds of animals. The trees were tall and green, and a golden sunlight filtered through the branches, creating a warm and cozy atmosphere. The forest was a wonderful place where rabbits, owls, and squirrels lived happily together. One sunny day, Peter the rabbit was hopping around, exploring the magic forest. He had a fluffy white coat and big floppy ears that hopped up and down with each jump. Peter loved to discover new things and was curious about everything around him. As he hopped along, Peter noticed a family of owls perched on a branch. They had big round eyes that glittered like the stars in the night sky. Peter felt a little scared at first, but the owls smiled warmly and welcomed him to the forest. They told him about the magic that filled the air and how all the animals looked after each other. Excitedly, Peter continued his adventure, hopping from tree to tree. He spotted a group of squirrels scampering up and down, gathering acorns for the coming winter. Their fluffy tails twitched as they busily worked. Peter hopped closer and asked if he could help. The squirrels were happy to have some assistance, and together they collected piles of acorns. Suddenly, a burst of magic swept through the forest. Beams of shimmering light danced through the trees, and a gentle breeze rustled the leaves. Peter and his new squirrel friends watched in awe as the magic enveloped the forest. They could feel its power and how it connected all the animals together. As the magical light disappeared, the forest seemed even brighter and more vibrant than before. The air was filled with joy and excitement. The owls hooted happily, and the squirrels chittered with delight. Peter hopped around with glee, feeling grateful for this magical place he called home. In the days that followed, Peter continued to explore the forest and make new friends. He met a wise old owl named Oliver, who shared his knowledge of the forest with Peter. Oliver told him about the hidden paths, secret clearings, and the different plants that grew in the forest. Peter listened intently, soaking up all the information like a sponge. With Oliver's guidance, Peter discovered a special meadow filled with beautiful flowers of every color. It was his favorite place in the entire forest. He loved lying down on the soft grass, surrounded by the sweet scent of flowers. One day, as Peter was napping in the meadow, he noticed something glittering in the distance. Curiosity sparked within him, and he hopped closer to investigate. To his amazement, he found a tiny heart-shaped pendant shining brightly in the sunlight. Peter knew it was a magical talisman, and decided to keep it as a precious treasure. From that day on, Peter carried the pendant with him wherever he went. It reminded him of the magic that surrounded him in the forest and how he was a part of something special. The pendant's warm glow seemed to guide him as he explored the forest, making new friends and discovering even more wonders. And so, Peter the rabbit continued his adventures in the magic forest, accompanied by his newfound friends, the owls and the squirrels. Together, they would always cherish the enchantment of their home and the boundless joy it brought them. Question, what kind of animals can be found in the magic forest? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, The Lost Treasure It was a sunny day in the small seaside town of Oceanville. A group of children, Timmy, Tommy, Emily, and Lily, had gathered at their favorite spot near the old lighthouse. They loved playing games and going on exciting adventures together. On this particular day, Emily had found an old map in her attic. It looked very old and crinkled with faded colors. As soon as she showed it to her friends, their eyes sparkled with curiosity and excitement. Wow, look at this, it's a treasure map, exclaimed Timmy, pointing at the drawing of an island with an X marked on it. There must be hidden treasure there. The children huddled around the map, trying to decipher the clues written on it. It says we must follow the golden path through the enchanted forest, raid Lily, 
squinting her eyes and running her finger along the dotted line on the map. But where is this enchanted forest? questioned Tommy. They look around, trying to find any clue that would lead them to the hidden treasure. Suddenly, Emily noticed something peculiar. There was a large oak tree across the street with a sign that said, Welcome to the Enchanted Forest. Excitedly, the children rushed towards the tree, following the golden path indicated on the map. As they stepped under the shade of the oak tree, they felt a magical breeze that sent goosebumps down their arms. The forest was filled with lush greenery, colorful flowers, and whispers of secrets in the air. Underneath a moss-covered rock, Timmy discovered the next clue. It read, To find the treasure, look where the waterfall splashes down. The children knew they had to find a waterfall, but where could it be? Just as they were about to give up, Lily spotted a sign near the forest's edge that said, Waterfall Park, this way. They raced towards the sound of rushing water. As they reached the park, a magnificent waterfall greeted them, splashing and glistening in the sunlight. Look, there's something shiny behind the waterfall, shouted Tommy with excitement. The children held hands as they walked through the crystal clear water. And there it was, a glimmering chest hidden by Mother Nature herself. They opened the chest and gasped at the sight before them. It was filled with gold coins, dazzling jewels, and precious artifacts. They couldn't believe their eyes. Their dreams had come true. Jumping and cheering, the children celebrated their incredible find. They knew they had uncovered the lost treasure. As they stared at the map one last time, they noticed an inscription on the corner, Share the treasure's joy, for it brings happiness to all who find it. The children knew they couldn't keep the treasure all to themselves. They decided to donate some of the coins to their town's local museum. With the money, the museum could build a new wing and share the wonders of the past with everyone. As the sun began to set, the children walked home, feeling proud of their amazing adventure. They knew that the real treasure wasn't the gold or jewels, but the memories they had created and the joy they had shared. And so, with their hearts filled with happiness, the children vowed to continue seeking adventure and making their world a better place, one treasure at a time. Question, how did the children find the hidden treasure? Check the video description for the answer.